in this video we're going to be going over the full boat working from the front up here at our big sav winch nine kilo anchor going right back to the back of the boat there So here's the big sav winch anchor. It's a nine kilo anchor. And it's, as you can see, it's hollow up through here. Very, very heavy anchor. Down here, we've got, we've got the, the spare wheel with the yellow fin, yellow fin cover on it. For those of you who don't know, the new boat is a, a seven meter yellow fin plate alloy. So metal, not fiberglass. For you guys who've been on the channel since day dot, you'd know that the Formosa, the old boat, had a catch release system like this. The yellow fin has the same. Just flick this handle up, drive up on here, and it gets caught up in this notch here. And you just tie up, put your winch, connect your winch up there. Yep, there's that, and you've got the trailer. Big alloy trailer. It's got rollers, unlike the Formosa that had had slides but it's got these big roller wheels up here got aluminium mud guards over the wheels with this I don't know what you call that some rubber padding and from the side we've got this beautiful grey wrap with the red joe up the front there we've got southern cross here We've got a big compass at the back. Then above that, you've got the, the fuel cap, the must catch it sticker. Different, it's more of a cartoony font. You've got the yellow fin 7000 on there. Down the back here, we've got the bilge pump hole to pump, to pump water out of the hole and a fuel breather back here. And coming around here, you've got the step ladder. We, we need a, another step down the bottom to get up there comfortably. 200 horsepower Yami on the back here. Same as the Formosa, because we couldn't get the 225. We couldn't get the 225 in quick enough, so we just decided to go with, go with the 200. I've got the cow cover on there. We've got Seastar hydraulic steering. Here's the transducer. Down here we've got the Zipwake trim tab. These things are an absolute necessity when going through rough weather. When you're going through rough weather, these things, super compact, they fold down and they keep the boat so level. It's unbelievable. And you'll notice we've got two of these bars. We've got one on this side and one on this side. So you can mount this step ladder on this side where the transom door is. And on this side, you can actually mount a, a burly bucket. So you just come over here, pull this pin, take that off, pull it out, put your burly bucket on there, slide it back through, put this pin back through here pull it under and uh, there you go that burly bucket you can see where that big bar goes through here you put your burly in there and it comes with this little plunger so you can squeeze all those good juices out to attract all the big fish got a few holes down there down that side's the same so we're not going to go down there we've got the yellow fin 7000 sticker up there let's hop up in here big climb up these steps got these nice handrails and this transom door here it's a very good design you just pull it over and it locks in so that's when it's closed you just pull it up push it down so you walk in through here we've got the bait station up here at the back got this dial sticker down here on the side carpet here and when you're in the boat and you have this transom door closed you can actually stand on this platform right here do a wee go fishing right there 
got rod holders with these inserts down the side sinker holder cup holder whatever you want to use it for three oh there's my phone I'll move that up the back here we've got the bait station also got that rubber padding on both sides same as the gunnel and the and the step the step on the trailer down there got a nice cutting board area down here to put your defrost your bait in four rod holders at the back and then all you got to do to open up the bait station pull on these levers you've got eight Wilson tackle boxes in there in these tackle boxes we've got four smaller boxes and four deeper boxes in this one we've just got our casting rules. Here we've got some plastics and jig heads. Here in this one, see this platform here. Very stable. You can do all your all your line tying. You've got these handles here to hold your box. In this one we've got some squid trexes from new from Nomad, some spare octopuses and some more trebles slide it on back in. In here, a heavy box full of our jigs. Absolutely chockers with jigs and octa jigs in there. Now. That's one side. And on this side here, in here we've got, oh, there's a wasp trying to eat me. We've got circ, all our circle hooks. All in there, all in size order. So you know exactly which one to get to. And here we've got some smaller hooks, some smaller hooks and bobbers and stuff in there. This is sort of our rig, our rig box. In here we've got Pananosta rigs, Marlin rigs, jigs for bait, snapper rigs, bait needles, rubber bands, everything you need. And this last deep box, we've got a some of our most used, most used trolling rules for mackerel. A couple redheads, redheads like that. This is an absolute game changer, this, this lure right here. Samaki Pacemaker, looks like a slimy mackerel and absolutely dominates. And if you were watching that last video where we caught that, caught that yellow fin there, the lure we actually got this that one on is this pink shiny Halco Laser Pro. The the pelagics seem to love the redheads and the and the, the shiny pinks. So that's some of our most used lures. You don't have to go on the sides in our lure roll that I'm about to show you now. In the side we've got our deck armor mounted on the side fuel filter stuff our lead is all down here all of our snapper leads we've got some lead up gimbal belt can't leave home without that one here we've got tackle box full of knives and tools some lanyards down there because we've lost one too many fishing rods and a lure roll that's sort of empty at the moment got any trolling little suggestions please put them down in the comments i'm going to try some something new then the floor the floor here is from deck armor deck armor hooked us up we've, we've got the yellow fin symbol in the floor this beautiful gray color this gray color is actually the color that deck armor sells out the most if you remember on the last boat we had that that camo with the big marlin but here we've just gone the basic gray with the lines through it in here we've got this little section where we're gonna buy a little fridge to go in here a little sliding fridge on wheels so when we go on our big 1770 trips we can put all our food in there just have a little esky out the back to put all our all our stuff in coming over to this side we've all also got that deck armor in the side over here we keep our net we've got the relax 
trolling outriggers, poor man's outriggers, we call them. We've got the gaff down there. And that's all we've got down there. And you realize that in both of these sides, we don't have deck wash. So the deck wash in this boat, you actually take that plate off and the deck wash is this, this hose here. It's extremely long. Let's show you how long it is. And it stretches out more. So you've got this little nozzle, just turn the switch. Water comes out. There's actually water in there now. Just spray the seat there. So it's unlike that little slinky hose that you always have messing around in here. Just this little hose that goes into the side of the boat there. Down here we've got the e -perb. A piece of equipment that every boat is legally has to have. We've just mounted it down here for quick access. And if you come down here, you'll see, let's just sit down. You'll see we've got this little door here. You open that up. And Dad's actually put this little shower system. An Iron Man 4x4 40 litre tank that you sl slide into this hole. Back there we've got a little pump. Here we've got the hose. Just on our 1770 trips, overnight, you get all salty and fishy. Just spray yourself off with this and you're golden. Now coming up the side here, you see you've got this nice little bar to hold on to. And these rocket launchers, you'll see the rocket launchers, they're all facing out. All you gotta do to take that up, when they're in the down position, you can just push them up. You're gonna pull them down, take this, put your thumb in this little hole here, pull it out, and pull it back down. Pretty simple. We've got these big spotties, two big spotties, that actually, they're super small, but they light up this entire area, this entire deck space. Leading the loop around here, we've got a live bait tank live bait tank there so you put this pipe in here so it doesn't overflow so once it's flowing out of this nozzle and it comes up over this pipe whatever water gets over the pipe will go down and just to drain it turn off your pump take out the pipe and you've got this little glass viewing panel on the side here so we'll close that up we'll just Put you up on the chair here, the famous spot for all the fishing shots you see. We'll just put you up there for a second. Pull this seat up here, lock it in, pull out these two legs, and then pull it down. This seat here is actually incredibly comfortable. You could use this seat right here as a bed. Super cushioning. You've got this little backrest. Behind this door is just the batteries. We won't go on there because that's that's not my department. So you'll see here, you've just got this little this little metal bar on the back, and you just take these legs down, fold it back under, and if you don't want it on there. Actually, instead of telling you, we'll just demonstrate it. Actually, no. We'll put you. We'll just hold you. you just fold these legs up here. Like that. Let it fall down. Fold it away. And if you don't like it like that, you can just raise it up a bit. Like this. Raise it up, up in here. If you don't want it in there at all, which when we're on our fishing trips we don't, just pull that off and she's away. Push that back in. That's perfect. Before we get into the cab area, we'll just have a look up here. We've got these big fusion speakers. We've got one on the side here and two up in the roof and then one on the other side. And that connects up here to our Bluetooth Fusion Radio. This thing absolutely blasts you. This backspace actually lights up blue. 
Coming up into the cab, you'll see on the driver's side, we've got these big luxury seats. See, see them there? You've got these big armrests down here on either side. Beautiful cushioning. And we've got this little step down here you put your feet on. Same on the other side. These seats, they have this little lever here. They go back and forward, and if you unscrew this like that, swing all the way around. So you can turn these facing backwards. So what I actually do sometimes on my passenger seat, I'll come down here, unscrew this, unscrew that a bit, swing the chair around. When we're trolling, I can just watch the rods as they go bazinga. It's as easy as turning these seats back around like that, coming down here, tightening this thread up. That locks onto the main shaft of the seat, so that not going anywhere. In here, we've got a little pocket. I want to say little. This thing is actually huge. Fit my whole arm in there and still have wiggle room at the back. And up in here, we'll see if you can see, it's pretty dark up in there, but you see this cord here? We've actually got two USB charging ports up in here. There's heaps of places to hold on to. You've got this bar here, so you can just hold on while you're sitting here. Or if it's pretty bumpy, just stand up, two hands on the bar. Again, deck armor up on the dash. Heaps of dash room, two cup holders. One for the driver, one for the passenger. And here's that big Garmin sounder. Absolutely massive. Same as the one that we had on the last boat. But this one, actually huge. I can fit more than two hands. I believe this is a 16 inch, 16 or 20 inch, I believe. Yamaha, Yamaha reading measure. So you can see your revs, your speed, you swipe over, you get your trip, fuel consumption, everything like that. Put the cover back over it, beautiful white cover next to it. We've asked the boys again to put our little sav winch up and down for the anchor. You see the anchor up there? We've got the up and down right next to here. So easy access, just slip. Yamaha throttle. The throttle on this thing is a flyby. So you, if you remember from some of the older videos on the channel on the Formosa, we didn't have a flyby system. So dad sat here banging on the throttle like this to just move it a little bit. On this one, just hold it like this, slowly go forward. Absolutely beautiful. Here you'll see the zip weight controller. So when we're when we're traveling around, you just press this little auto button and you're going over these big waves and the trim tabs on the back, the zip wake trim tabs will actually level out the boat and it does an amazing job. Here we've got the radio. This radio here, the backlight on this is absolutely just blinding. Brighter than the O-lights. So Dad actually had to put it in here on the last trip because we're going out at night time. So you've got this little thing here. That's your volume. Change your channels up here. And you'll see it just goes straight in. This is the whole control. This handheld thing right here. Whole control. Big metal yellow fin steering wheel. There's that Sea Star hydraulic steering back there. And this giant switch panel down here. We've got our nav lights, stern light, bilge pump, rear. We've got the live bait tank pump, our deck wash, and our cabin light. That cabin light, this one up here, it is so bright. Well, actually, I'll get some video tonight of all the lights on. So I can show you guys that later. Then we've got our hard top light, which is this one. It's actually got an orange filter on this little Narva light up here. So when you're out there at night, you can turn it on orange. So on your overnight trips, you don't have bugs everywhere. 
here's our switch for our spotlight. Our spotlights being those two little lights up there. The, uh, we've also got a light in the bait tank. And this windscreen wiper. Windscreen wiper. So when you get all the salt water wash up here, just turn that on and the driver can see perfectly outside. And here we've got one of these is for the what do you call it the shower down there other one is for the squid lights struggling to get my words out and you'll see also we've got you remember on the Formosa we had those little plastic flippy up folding up windows here we've got solid windows all round you can see perfectly out them on the sides here Unclip it, pull it out, goes all the way out. Fresh air. When your passenger's feeling sick, just open up their one. They're good. I've also got some deck armor down here and the builder's plate. And here's the cabin. This cabin is absolutely humongous. Just hold you up here for comparison. I can spread my arms out completely and only just touch the walls. We can fit all four of the family members in here comfortably. We've got these pillows here. So when it's a bit rough, you can just sit up here with your back on the pillows. And behind those pillows, we've got this compartment. You can keep heaps of things in here. We've got sunscreen, some water, bug spray, absolute necessity, don't leave home without it, more necessities, stubby coolers, wipes, toilet paper, and here's the back of that little USB charger I was talking about before, in the pocket, and on the other side, just got a bottle of water, some safety glasses, and we've got our fenders in here, these things do a great job. Also in here, on the Formosa as well, You'd remember we had all the wires hanging out everywhere on here. Just, oh, that's a bit tough. Just twist this. Which way does it go? Twist this like that. There's all your wires in there. It's a bit dark, but there's your steering and the sounder up there. Close that and twist it. It's a bit hard to twist like that. There's all the fuses for the switch back there. And on the switch panel, we've got this carbon fiber plate on here. Look up here, we've got this little 12 volt charger. You can open it. Everything on this boat is so new, so you can't really open stuff. Little 12 volt charger there. That's great. We've got a bed sheet on here, but I'll show you the cushions. These cushions, the same cushions as the back seat and the passenger and driver's chair. Gonna have to pull this sheet up. This thing was so hard to put on, but I'll take it off for you guys just to show you. You pull this up. This this is on both sides. You pull this up. Hold on. Let me just get a grip on it. Pull this up. There should be a little rope sticking out somewhere. Should be right here. Just lift that up beautiful compartment you can fit heaps of stuff you can put your life jackets in there you can put buoys in there You've got a little draining hole in the corner there as i said we've also got that flipping up pillow on the other side and if you look down in here you can pull this up this is where i keep my life jacket and in here we've got cooking stuff plate salt pepper Nice forks, mozzie coils, everything. And the last thing for this beautiful bed we've got in here is this, this hatch right here. It's huge hatch. We didn't have one on the Formosa. But once you get it open, like that, you see everything out there. Close it back up with these two little levers. These 
these two little levers. Got it. You realize as I'm going over everything in here, everything in the cab and in the cabin, everything is carpeted. The walls, the roof, see out there? The roof, the sides, everything is carpeted up. So coming out of the cabin again, you hold on to here. On the roof, we've got two GME aerials, one for our radio, one for the VHF there. Got the anchor light. And down here you can see those windows, big grab rail all the way across. You can walk along the sides here. Here's the windscreen wiper. Pull it up, just like that. You come along here, there's the hatch. It's not looking too pretty at the moment because there's a bunch of silicon in here from the panels that fell off. But the big sav winch, anchor winch this thing is absolutely huge a little roller for the anchor up there rails all around little cleat to tie your rope on here it's actually the only cleat on the entire boat not a big fan of the design of that cleat because there's the only one and who's actually using a cleat right now so that's probably my only negative of the entire boat You've got your nav lights, starboard side, port side over here. Big windows. Look at the windows. Absolutely huge. Walk back along here. So trained at that, don't even need to hold on. I've also got this big grab rail up here. So when Dad's sitting here and I'm sitting here, we've got someone like Timbo from yesterday. Don't know if I'm going to post that video yet, but... You can stand back here, hold on to this grab rail through rough weather, and it's absolutely the most comfortablest place to stand up in this boat. Up this video, we're gonna just jump out of the boat here, just walk over the little door, turn around, grab it. It just goes down like that, super solid. Jump down, just put my thumbs on. Seals, there's all our eskies from yesterday that aren't full of fish. Fold this up, got a little rubber stopper on the door there. Grab this, this is super tough to pull. But just pull it over that little knob there. And that ladder is not going anywhere. It's dark now guys, so we're gonna show you guys these lights. So we're gonna turn the power on down there. Come up here, we'll go stern light, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Can't really see that down there guys, but we've got most of the lights on. We'll just check you guys here for a second, I'm just going to... Hang with me, I'm just going to go turn the shed lights off. Back and click this. There we go. So as I said earlier, there's our there's our cabin light. Got the hard top light up here. It's got a little button right there. You can turn it to red or white. We've got light right there and one on the other side. Not very bright light in there. Then these spotlights here. These spotlights light up a lot. I'll just turn only them on. Turn everything 
I'll fix it for them. That is just the hard top light. Lights up this whole area. Oh yeah, we'll show you the guys that. We'll show you guys the the squid lights. Look how bright they are. Lights up all out here. Just from those two little light bars down there. Oh, that's bright. So yeah, there's all the lights on the on the boat there, guys. Let's get back to the rest of the video. So yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys. If you guys want to see any more gear videos, like fishing gear, hunting gear, quads, the Susie, I personally would like to do a Su Susie video, so if you want to see that, let me down, know in the comments. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys.